The hype around those wheels are now through the roof thanks to Ambini, Torque Peak and China Cycling's YouTube channel. In today's though, I'll take a deeper look at the hyper wheels from Windspace. What's up guys, my name is Charles and welcome back to my cycling YouTube channel. In my last Windspace video, a few people called me out for being biased. I'm free to say whatever I want about Windspace. They do not approve those videos before they come on. Uh, all I'm sharing is a 10% discount code for you guys and I did mention every single time that I do receive a kickback from you guys using that discount code. Does this make me biased about a product? Hell no, I'm free to ride whatever I want. I have access to a lot of bikes thanks to Cycling Avenue. Uh, they have a bunch of uh, road bikes for me to use, but I decided to ride the Windspace because I freaking love that bike and those wheels. All right, well, now that disclaimer out of the way, let's start this video. I mean, it's already started for like maybe like a minute, but you get the point. <laughs> Prior to my Hyper wheels, I had Envy's. For those who know Envy wheels, they are the gold standard of high quality wheel. They're fast, they're stiff, they're aero, they're stylish, especially stylish but the the set also costs around 3000 usd dollar which is unreal thinking that bike is already super expensive and just dropping that kind of money on a wheel set that you might crash in a in a race or in a bad accident because of uh, potholes or pavement is it really worth it i don't think so i kind of regretted my purchase uh, last year when i bought the envies even if i had a really good team deal they came up so expensive was i happy with the wheel Absolutely. Was my wallet happy about it? Not at all. And I fully understand everyone who's looking for a high quality product while being on a budget. Here with the Windspace wheels retailing at 990 USD, you're getting so much performance for the value. At 50 millimeters deep and 1425 grams, those wheels are the perfect blend of aero and lightness. Using aero profile carbon spokes, it makes it so much reactive to short bursts of power. You feel your power being directly transferred to the ground without any delay. When I got back to wheels with aluminum spokes, I felt that there was this slightly delay when you start to push heavy power. It's like if the hub is moving slightly because of the spokes are bending a little bit. This is not the case with carbon spokes. The power from your legs goes straight to the pedal and then straight to the drivetrain and then straight to the ground. And just feel a lot better when you just want to give a little kick. I've been using clincher tires for the last 3000 kilometer and had barely any flats. Just like at the end my, when my tire was done I had to change it. But yesterday I actually just put my tire on tubeless for the first time. So I will be doing a full video about my tubeless experience using the Windspace wheels. So you want to subscribe to stay tuned to that. One thing I like about the wheels is that I am now 3000 kilometer in and it does feel just like day one. The wheel is still super stiff. There's no disc brake rubbing after a whole season. I've heard a lot of people complaining about their disc wheel getting soft and that as soon as you were standing up on the bike, the disc was touching or was rubbing with the caliper. This is not something that happened to me in all those kilometers and I'm really looking forward to uh, go on to like 10,000 kilometers and 15,000 kilometers on those wheels. And I'm confident that they will hold up. One thing you have to keep in mind if you are ordering those wheels is that since they're coming from China, uh, there might be some custom fees. So do budget an extra 50 to hundred dollars. In my case, it cost me 70 Canadian dollars. So that's around 45, 50 USD for the custom fees. One problem I had with those wheels is that two of my rear spokes started to rub against each other. It was causing this sound that was a little bit annoying. I brought it to my shop and the mechanics uh, find out uh, the issue because I didn't know where the sound was coming from. What was happening is that with the pressure, the two spokes were just slightly rubbing on each other. To solve that issue, the mechanic simply put chain lube in between the spokes and the sound disappeared. He also told me that if this happened again, I can put a, tiny, a really small tie wrap. I've read online about this issue and that's something that can happen with any wheels. It's something to keep in mind, but there were two easy fix. We also need to talk about the style. I personally think that those wheels are looking so good. The finish on it is perfect. A lot of people have been looking at my bike and were like, wow, those wheels are really amazing. I also want to mention that I really like the hub that came with the wheel. It used really large ceramic bearings to minimize the friction and the sound looks good. Looks good. The sound sounds good uh, to my hair personally. <laughs> Since they are using unique carbon spokes, they had to re-engineer a whole hub from the ground up. So this is why they designed this hub with three things in mind. 
Reliability, because that is probably the most important. You don't want a hub that fails you. Lightweight, because every grams of saving is uh, a must in cycling. And efficiency. You don't want a hub that slows you down and this hub absolutely doesn't. And I personally think that it's good enough for me as a Cat 1 racer. And probably for a World Tour racer, it would have been nice to see those wheels on the Tour de France, but I guess that would have cost a lot of money for the brands to sponsor teams. And if they have to pay for pro riders, then they have to raise the price of the wheels. Since we're in space or not on the Tour de France yet, uh, well, their price are still really low. All right, so here is a closer look at my Hyper wheels. Uh, as you can see here, I have the tubeless valve that came with the wheels, so which this is really nice. Uh, with my wheels, I have the early 2020 version, so the stickier here is on top of the finish of the wheel. I think if you're buying now the new wind space, the sticker is under the last coating, so it's gonna look a lot nicer, but 3,000 kilometer in and all my stickers still look really good, really premium. They did not come out at all. So those wheels are paired with Continental GP5000 tubeless. I haven't tried them yet, as I mentioned. I'll be doing a new video about them really soon. And for the rest of my build, Gold Chain, Windspace T1500, Ceramic Hub, it's really nice, low friction. It's not much I can say about the wheels. So a few people asked me for more detailed breakdown about the engineering, the manufacturing process. And it's not really something I'm into for my YouTube channel. I'm a Cat1 racer, despite the fact that I am an engineer. As you can see here, I have this little ring uh, in Canada. Engineers have those rings. But I'm an IT engineer, so I don't know much about mechanics and build and carbon fiber. So I'm not the guy to uh, tell you about all that information. You should head over to channels like Torque Peak and Bini. They both did an overview about the wind space wheels. So they might have more clever information than I can provide you guys with. But for more racing experience and feedback, I think I'm a little bit more uh, at the right place to tell you guys that those wheels are really good. And overall, I recommend those wheels at anyone who's looking at the cost-effective way to go faster. We all know it, wheels are probably the best upgrades you can buy for your bike. So if you're in the market for new wheels, definitely check the Windspace website for more details. If you end up buying the wheels, please don't forget to use my promo code CHARLESWOMET10 at checkout. It's gonna give you a 10% discount. I'll be receiving a kit back from that sale, so it's gonna fund this YouTube channel for me to go a full-time cyclist. Just a 10% off. It's it's like free money for you to buy. Uh, you can buy something else after that. You can buy a aero bar, you can buy a uh, new bar tape. You can buy new tires, tubeless tires uh, with that discount code. And if you like this video, please, 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 leave a thumbs up. It's always really appreciated and it does make a difference for me to get noticed on YouTube. And subscribe if you aren't already. I have a lot more cycling content coming in the next few weeks that you don't want to miss out. All right, my name is Charles and I'll see you guys on the road or into the next video. Peace.